royaltyradio.ca. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of the community. Yeah. Um, I have an art community organization called High Class. Okay. You know, we put together different workshops for youth in the community. Right. Um, just to give them something to look forward to. That's you know, like I teach a lot of um graphic design, photography, yeah. video editing. I'm really much into the media. Right. High Class, like I rep it. I rep it every single day. Sure. Everybody can rep it. I don't discriminate. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, I attended um, Humber College, North okay. Campus, nice. for multimedia design and production. Oh, yeah. So like, there like, I was just hands on with different things like website building right. and all type of stuff. And throughout that time, like, Getty's not here, but like, I met Getty through like, we used to build websites and stuff together and okay. all that. So okay. like, I started knowing him and started knowing a lot of different people and knowing the ins and outs and who is this and who does this and who does that so like and I like I'm not a person like I do photography and all that but I talk to all the photographers out there I talk to all the video editors out there I talk to all the graphic designers out there so you know what I mean so like I keep in touch with everybody I keep I keep the, t the circle of I keep that pool like I will I will recommend people to other people right like sometimes I'm busy and stuff so right, right, right. of course um, even with Sean Getty, you know, working with Sean Getty, yeah. you know, he's a uh, legend that's his scene and doing his thing. Yeah. Um, how has he influenced your style and what you do? I you come when Getty comes here, you ask him. <laughs> I, like I, I'm not I'm a person like I look up to people. I'm not afraid to tell you I look up to you. Right. Like Getty, I tell him all the time. Like I look up to Getty. Like his he, he inspired me to do what I um do what I do photography wise right. and stuff. So like like I get a lot of I get a lot of insight from him because I talk to him, I sit down with him, right. and he tells me. Like what and what not to do and all that type of stuff. So he's good. He's good. He's been a mentor to me. He's my mentor. So, mentor, right? so yeah. Um, in regards to I guess uh, technology, for example, um, how do you feel that like it benefits? You know, every day technology is evolving. And like that. How do you feel that it, at least it progresses? It benefits. Example like the Canon, the yeah. Canon five D. Yeah. I, yeah. Technology is good, technology is good, but at the end of the day, technology can make, and now anybody can pick up a camera and shoot, right? So it gives it gives other people that with no talent or whatever to just pick it up and... and just start shooting. Yeah, just start filtering the game. Right. Just like how with rappers, like everybody can get a mic, everybody can spit, and everybody's a rapper. Right. Right. Of course, you also did some work for the Stylus Awards this year. Mm -hmm. um, was that your first go around, or have you done work for them before? No, that was my first. That was my first thing. Okay, and what was yeah. your experience? Like? Um, it was good because I put together. Um, I I'm part of 106 in York, okay. which is kind of like this, the same thing, but that's just on a bigger scale. Right. So um, it was good work with them. I seen. Like I seen a lot of artists come together. I never seen a lot of artists come together like that right. in one building. Like Belly, like everybody, like um Belly, P Rain, Drake, Era, Era, Era every like Era. the whole the whole line of people that are doing their thing in Toronto or wh wherever in Canada. So it's on a bigger scale. Like it was a good experience. One six in York is basically more for the youth and upcoming artists. Okay. So like it has its similarities, but the Stars Awards opened my eyes to what I'm gonna bring to the table for one six in York next year. Okay. And how long have you been involved with Um, we've been going for three years now. Okay. Yeah. So like, we've been we like, and every time we're trying to improve and, and trying to figure out what the youth want and what what kind of talent should be exposed. Because yeah. there's a lot of talent at the end of the day. So. After the singers, songwriters, sometimes they get connected up or they can't rap or they can't write any lyrics. Do you ever face that as a photographer or as a video artist? Yeah, of course. Or, you, know, you just have to find something that that'll get you back in the mood. To me, like when I'm doing my work, I like when I'm doing my photography stuff, like editing or whatever, like I'll just blast music. Like okay. music just, it just opens, it just keeps me open to a lot of things. Like music is just what keeps me going, to be honest. Right. So like I listen to a lot of local artists, I listen to everybody, I listen to everybody in Toronto, my iPod's full with okay. Toronto music and all That's the type of stuff. So, yeah, of course. So like music is always keeping me going and keeping my my creativity flowing and stuff. So. Let me ask you, you're very like detail oriented, like you, you don't have an eye for detail. Uh, Drake's videos take a lot of flack <laughs> for being very I was gonna ask kind of whack, you know what I mean? Uh, what, what, what do you think of them? Like, like Drake's over, for instance. And you can be honest, like, I don't know. You want I don't gonna hire you right now. Bro. Yeah, the camera's on you, man. <laughs> just, just, just give me half that money. Like, what would you do, what would you do for an over, for something like over? What would you do? Considering what he's talking about, too. Like, 
first of all, I wouldn't do that. Like, you know, you know, that, that's, that's right off the bat. Like, I wouldn't do that. Like, I would have more of a because he's he's just talking about people that he knows now just because of where he's at. Right. So like, just implement that. Like, like the way people just come into your life just because you have this this money, you have these cars, you see. You might, I might be here today. This girl walks by me and not even care, but then I have like a million dollars and she's like running up to me. So like, you know, I'm probably like. So you wouldn't do him sit, sitting on the like, sitting <laughs> on the bed, but pause. That sounds so But you wouldn't do it like him on the bed. You know what I mean? I don't Looking into space and, I, and like that. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I don't like like and every, like phone. everybody like it couldn't be it could be a marketing thing like everybody because it's always it's always talked about so right. like just keep that in mind it's always talked about yeah, it's, it's everywhere you're going yo Drake yo that video is shit <laughs> <laughs> let me go check out that video yeah, oh so shit that video is shit yo let me go tell that person oh that yeah. video is shit like if like everybody still knows the video so <laughs> it could be something I think they did that with the best I ever had video it could, it could be was, the that, yeah that was dark like I don't get it yeah like I don't get it I don't know I, I don't know but the videos are shit he needs to upgrade he needs to upgrade <laughs> <laughs> royaltyradio.ca